Pichi, zapatala bonito. ¡Epa! We all met actually from the Fall Rock Band, basically. I mean, we knew each other. We all knew each other from yeah, for many yeah. years. Just from events here. Just from city. being chefs in the city. But we really, I think, became friends during the Fall Rock Band. Yeah. Yeah. We keep together. Yep. And we were going yeah. to Ludo. Was doing a pop up, and we yeah. were we going to yeah. going yeah. to that yeah. to eat. Yeah. And we cooked together. We cooked together at some event and more. Yeah. Another good. And we become friends. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> this business right here was started basically because we got we were reached out about this location and uh, when we came and saw it it was a restaurant that we were all familiar with and we felt like obliged to keep it alive uh, in spirit and it was a Mexican restaurant called Alegria and uh, that's part of the reason why we do a Mexican inspired food here at this location, even though it's not traditional Mexican by any means, there's still an undertone of it, um, and it's partially because we wanted to keep what was here alive. Number one selling here is actually the hash brown chili killies. That's our number one seller, I would say. Uh, the chicken's definitely up there. Uh, the double decker taco is is a, on, you know, we sell a lot of that. and Great. You know, <clears throat> yeah, it just really depends on the day. I mean, there's not really any particular, like, I mean, those are, they're all, I mean, the menu is pretty small here, so it's not like, all of them are good hits. You know, there's nothing to be missed. This is the, uh, this is the chicken, chicken milanesa with Maggie Ranch and pickles and radish. And I'm just rolling the cucumbers right now. Yeah. For the dish. They're totally different. I mean, there's no similarities really at all. That's kind of the matchup is that there's not really any similarity. So it's a play on both ethnicities. Like this isn't French, nor is it really Mexican. You know what I mean? But it's an interpretation of things that all have been intertwined back to either country. In our brains, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily... Uh, it kind of makes sense for everyone. Yeah, exactly. But Mexican food is very spicy. French food is not spicy. <clears throat> French use the hell out of butter. Mexicans use lard. You know, it's like that's their fat. So we have uh, chicken breast that's been breaded in uh, flour, egg wash, and panko. And we're gonna fry it just in a little bit of peanut oil. Over there, wolfing down the sauce. <laughs> I think the inspiration was the Maggie Ranch, and uh, we wanted to do fried chicken, but didn't want to do a sandwich. Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't want to do a sandwich. Yeah. And I think what makes it Mexican to me is that I had seen uh, in Mexico a chef using uh, Maggie sauce in in a dish. And uh, I was really surprised by it. And that to me um, is what a lot of cooking's about. It's sort of like being able to be surprised by something when you expect something else. And um, so I kept that sort of in my mind when I was thinking about what I thought of, what ingredients I thought Mexico identified with other than the obvious.
Uh, I mean, my life, I feel, has gone through a lot of different changes and different times in my life. I've been inspired by different people, but I would say my kids probably give me my most drive now to go to work and, you know, give them a better life than what I had and hopes that they actually have a better life than what where I'm at. You know what I mean? It's the American dream, right? Well, life every day is where I wake up and the inspiration of the day. One day can be like, you no, know, like, I can see it with my kids. One day can be like, really excited to just have a meeting with Jalabini because we're working on a project. I mean, it's everybody so different. So, I think we have a, somebody that can look every day for inspiration. Like, just life. You know? Well said. Well said, that was the truth. Just the truth. Yeah. It's you know, not one specific thing. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I would agree with both of you guys. It's exactly. like, you know, it's like, yeah, your kids okay. definitely are like your, the thing yeah. that you like love the most and some of the most future in. And like, I think we do that to provide them opportunities, but we also are, all wake up and are motivated by the people that work around us and the people that work with us and the people that keep all of our restaurants going on the day to day and deal with all the customers. And then the customers inspire us to do great things because we want to have great restaurants yeah. to provide to those people in our communities and our neighborhoods and I think that all of those things are inspirational daily and daily motivators. Especially Los Angeles is a very young city. It's very for young. the United States. It's for the United States even. And it's like this city is one of the biggest melting pots in the whole entire country. It has people from everywhere. So we're inspired by the food that's around us here too and the ingredients we have. We're lucky we feel that we have some of the best ingredients in the United States and the country, um, for sure. The, the produce we're able to work with are, is amazing. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's nice to have all these other communities around us too to sort of inspire us to cook different food. Yeah, it's cool. But see, it's, like, it's, it's interesting. You don't want to do like, when you think Mexican, a lot of people think like tacos and tostadas and burritos and like we have a little bit of that but we do it with a way where it's not so straightforward exactly. and exactly traditional like we went to one region and used this taco and that's the recipe we duplicated we kind of just make whatever the fuck we made want. it up we kind of like we put french potato puree inside of inside of a taco and it tastes good you know it's like it kind of tastes like american mexican french Influence, but you can, if we didn't say it out there, like no one would really know. It's, you know what it takes. You know what it is. Delicious. Good food. Yeah. Yeah. Good food. Yeah. Well, there's no downside to have confusion in my mind. You know, it's like every restaurant in the, in our group is they're all different. They all have an idea from the beginning, and like we kind of fit into that mold of that idea. It's like we have restaurants that are very regional or traditional Pacific, and it's like. And those actually box you in. Where in Fusion, something like this, you can do whatever you want, right? Fusion is anything. It's freedom. It's, yeah. Fusion is freedom. So that's, you know, that's what the deal is, so. Whatever you want. Yep. You can use soy sauce if we wanted to. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's no rules to Fusion. I think Fusion's been around for a very long yeah, time. It just never long. was maybe labeled or... It never went away. Yeah. We, that's Vinny's hashtag. It never went away. Fusion <laughs> never went away. It, I mean, sometimes. You know what? When you stop and really think about that's it, what yeah, this country is. if you stop and really think about it, pretty much almost every dish out there is almost some kind of fusion. You know, it's like not For example, I mean, all the food on the Yeah. Yeah. It is. I mean, it's hard, but it's all food. Animals, sun, gun, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. But even too. when you stop and you think about something like John and Vinny's, there's some fusion that's going on there. Yeah. It's maybe not as extreme, but it's American Italian. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. American Italian is fusion. You know what I mean? You're using so it's you're like when you stop and really think about it, unless you go to like a Pacific country that's famous for creating a dish, like and they own that and element, you, and you, you could say and you do it exactly like they do, like. The bula base you have in America is nothing like the bula base in France. In, in, uh, yep, you can't, you can't replicate it. You can't replicate it. The ingredients change. It's, 
Yeah, yeah. so the air is diffusion. You know what I'm saying? And you do bullet base here in the United States. It's just could be eat. delicious bullet base too, but it's still not going to be the same. And it's going to be, you know.